tropical storm Irene just knocked this town for a loop. And the way that people pulled together to help each other, what you had was this tremendous outpouring of community spirit. And in many ways, it has never gone away. A large part of our work here in Vermont is focused on building and creating livable, walkable communities. The Better Block experience will be a real opportunity for us to be able to test change um, and then ultimately see what we can adopt more long term. Bethel has been trying to find ways to stimulate creative growth and, and to get people excited and involved and uh, Better Block seemed like a perfect match for that, you know, an opportunity to gather the community together. We were so pleased that ARP asked us to come to Vermont. We put a, a call out across the whole state. Bethel scored the highest as a community in need. We're only as good as our partners, and we chose the right place because this is a place that is wanting to get better, and we've got a downtown that's just wanting to thrive here. We have a couple buildings here that have been vacant for about 20 years. The citizens help clean them out and start pop-up shops in them. It's really an amazing transformation. It is, it so looks great. It's, I can't it's, wait to, it's really fun. It's just great to have something in town where you can bring the kids and you don't have to travel. The blue lane is about accommodating all users of the road. So anybody who wants to bike, ride, push a wheelchair, push a stroller, ride a horse, uh, ride a scooter, can use this protected uh, space. I think it really has meant a lot. Uh, it's a small town. It needed enthusiasm. It needed a little bit of new life. And I think that we've been able to bring that back, if only for a weekend. Hopefully it'll have lasting effects. It was um, successful beyond our wildest imagination. It really was. It just People just absolutely loved it and were very excited about it. I love the, the way they, they've slowed down traffic. That's just amazing because people do blow through here way too fast and so they, they can't even slow down to appreciate anything this year. One of the biggest concerns for AARP and I know for the for folks in the community in Bethel is issues associated with pedestrian safety so that we can have kids walking around and bicyclists and pedestrians. So when you start slowing everything down you create a much safer environment and then you bring people subsequently actually will pull over and they'll go into a store and they'll buy lunch or they'll browse. You know, I heard a little girl yesterday saying, it's so sad that this will all be gone on Sunday. And I said, you know, it's not really going to be gone. What we've done is we've planted seeds. And on Sunday, the seeds are going to get buried under the earth. But they're still in there, and they'll sprout and they'll grow. This gives people the vision of what can be, and that'll help make it happen.